Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have yet another carnal map problem, only we added another variable. We have A, B, C, and D this time. And once again, we're asked to find the Boolean expression um, for this carnal map. So pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So similar to before, uh, like in the last video, uh, we want to be able to group these ones in such a way that we form the largest power of two. So a group of two, a group of four, a group of eight, etc. And we can think of this map as being continuous. So one of the groups that we can actually do is this group here. This forms a group of four. Uh, it's a power of two. And this is one of the the, the rules to, to grouping carnal maps is that we can group them um, as if this map kind of is continuous or can get kind of folded over and continue on the on the bottom half here. So that is uh, definitely allowed. Um, the other thing that's allowed, let me change colors here to green, is um, the same thing, grouping you know, left to right, we can group left to right, up and down, and we can group twice. So um, this one here is already grouped with blue. We can also reuse it again and group it with green. Um, we'll get a more complicated expression at the end, um, but sometimes you, you just can't group it with anything else, so you'll have to group twice. So one of these can be in a subset of multiple different groups. And the last one doesn't really have a group. Um, there's no, he has no neighbors, nobody else to, to group with, so he is by himself. And so we have here three different groups. Uh, well, I'll call them the blue group, the green group, and the purple group. And I'll call the blue group one. We want to find, in this group of four, this blue group here, what variables don't change. So we can start with A and B. So we see here on the top that A is 0 and B is 0. And as we moved left to right, they do not change. But do they change when we move left to right on the bottom half. So the only one that stays consistent in all of them is actually just B. B is the only one that doesn't change out of A and B. And we see that B is zero, it remains zero, and because it's zero, it's B naught. So now we check C and D. For the same blue group. Um, C would be these guys here. And C stays the same on the top half, doesn't change. Um, on the bottom half, C also doesn't change. Right? So that is C. Now we check D. D changes from 1 to 0. So we don't include it because it did change. So that that's it for uh, for group one for the blue group. For group two, the green one, we have here for A B. Let me erase what I've written so far. These little blue arrows. So. A is 1, and on this side here, A still remains 1. So A has not changed. So we'll write A. Then we're looking at B. B is 0 on the left, and it's still 0 on the right. So B hasn't changed. But because B is 0, it'll be a B naught. And for C, we have C here. C is equal to 0. 
and then we have c here is equal to 1, c changes, so we cannot add it. And lastly, d is equal to 0, and d remains 0, so didn't change, we want to keep it, d naught. For the last group, group 3, we have just a single one. And so uh, when we have just a single group, it is just what it is, right? So we have A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, C is equal to 0, and D is equal to 1. So that would be A, B, C is equal to 0, so it would be C naught, and then D. And we can combine all of these um, all of these expressions for each of the individual groups together and form the Boolean expression. So we will um, just or them all together. Okay, so B naught C plus A B naught D naught plus A B, C naught, D. And that is our Boolean expression. So, did you guys get that? Leave me a comment below, and until then, enjoy engineering.